Siguro, na? Okay. Find the terms in the expansion of 2x plus 3y squared to the power 4. Okay. So, kung makikita natin dito, so, the binomial 2x plus 3y squared, so, u is 2x. Can you follow? Then, v equal to 3y squared, and then our n is 4. So, if you recall, if we raise it to the power 4, then ito yung terms natin, ha? Uh, tingnan natin. Ha. So, for the coefficients from Pascal's triangle, we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Ha? Ah, just uh, refer the previous, no? To the previous, ano, natin dyan. Sa pattern natin, ha? For Pascal's triangle. Okay, ha? Nandito tayo? Uh, so, u plus v to the power 4. So, we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay. So, balikan ko, ha? So, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Uh, then, how about the variables with their exponents? Okay. So, the first term is u to the power 4. Then, v is 0. Uh, so, take note that the exponents of u decreases from 4 to 0. While that of V increases from 0 up to 4. Uh, so we have here, na? So U cube V, U squared, U squared, U V cube, then 0. No? U to the power 0, then V to the 4th. Uh, so we can now substitute. Now take note, U is 2X and V equal to 3Y squared. Uh, so we can substitute here. So first term. 1 yung coefficients, well, 1 yung coefficient, tapos u to the power 4, uh, where u is 2x. So, ito yan. Uh, yung v, power 0 pa. Uh, then, kasunod, coefficient is 4, then we have u cube. Then, v to the power 1, uh, 3y squared to the power 1. Next, we have 6, uh, 6, 2x squared, then v, square. Uh, next is 4 yung coefficient, then u is 2x to the power 1, then v to the power 3. Uh, plus, coefficient 1, wala nang u, no? or we have 2x to the power 0, then v, 3y squared to the power 4. Uh, so, if you simplify, we obtain this, uh, kayo na lang mag-simplify, eh? uh, tingnan nyo na lang yan, uh, 2 to the power 4 is 16x to the 4. Ah, 2 cubed times 4 times 3, that would give us 96. Uh, 2 squared, then 3 squared times 6, that will give us 216. Uh, then this will give us also 216, and then this will give us 81. No? Okay. So, ito ang expansion. Now, can we encounter this in the board exam? Is it possible ba na... Diyan kayo ng question. Ha? Find the terms in the expansion of 2x plus 3y squared to the power 21. Nako, nakakatawa yan. No? Kasi pag ilagay dito to the power 21 and then you expand it. No? You are asked for all the terms then that would be 22 terms. Uh, wag na lang, that is a very long computation. No? Better skip to the next number. Okay? Pero ano ba talaga ang possible question we may encounter in the board exam uh, involving this topic? Uh, so, possible, we are asked for a specific term only in the expansion. So, let us say, I will ask you na. In the expansion of 2x plus 3y squared to the power 4, what is the fourth term? And if you re refer to our answer, the fourth term is this. Na. Uh, so, this is the fourth term. What is the third term? Uh, this is your answer. Uh, but is it possible for us to answer such question without expanding and exposing all the terms? Uh, so, yun ang kailangan natin gawin na. So, shortcut na. So, pagbigyan tayo ng expansion tapos we are asked for a specific term, paano natin sagutin yan without exposing all the terms? Kasi, long computation kung ganito yung gagawin natin. Diba? Okay. So, we will now apply formulas. Uh, by the way, yung formulas natin dito, we will omit derivation of course, ha? 
Hindi naman kayo tatanungin sa board exam. Derive the formula. Ah, di ba? Ah, yung mga 70s siguro, 1970s, 1960s, lalabas yan kasi written yun. Written yung board exam nila. No? Uh, derive the formula for blah blah blah. Ah, pero sa atin ngayon kasi mga ano na tayo, mga kabataan, no? Ah, so ang main encounter natin possible, we are asked for a specific term. Okay. So paano yan? So unang formula is this. Ah, so this is finding the rth term in the expansion of u plus v to the power n. Uh, so, u plus v to the power n and find the r term. Uh, so, ito yung formula natin for the r term. No? So, meaning r, that means if you have this n, uh, any term, second term, third term, fifth term, eighth term, r term. No? Uh, so, this is the formula. n c r minus 1, u to the power n minus r plus 1, v to the power r minus 1. Okay. So, this is the combination symbol, na? Uh, kita niyo ba to sa inyong calculator? The combination symbol, na? Uh, tingnan niyo dyan sa inyong calculator, na? The second function of the division. Uh, so, wala akong calculator na ma-present dito. Tingnan niyo lang dyan, ha? Sa inyong calculator. Second function of the division symbol. Ito yan. Okay. So, pag-memorize sa formula, ha? Be, tanggalin ko. Be, memorize mo na, be. R term equal to ncr minus 1, u to the power n minus r plus 1, v to the power r minus 1. Kayo nga? Uh, ano yung R term again? Oh, narinig ko ang sagot nyo. Okay, balik ko ha. Uh, so, the R term of the expansion. Okay. So, ano pang pwedeng ma-encounter natin na question. Na, so, possible, we encounter question like this. Na, in the expansion, what is the sum of all the coefficients of all the terms? Na, so, ito lahat yung terms. Tapos, ito yung mga coefficients sa lahat ng terms. Then, possible, we are asked, what is the sum of the coefficients of the terms? Na, okay. So, paano natin sagutin yan without expanding all the terms? Uh, my way of answering tayo dyan. No? So, ito lang yung gagawin natin. Ha, tingnan nyo, ha? Okay. So, the sum of the coefficients of all the terms in the expansion is obtained by substituting 1 to all the variables and then evaluating the value. Ha. So, let's say, for example, if you have the binomial px plus qy to the power n where p and q are the coefficients, ha? Uh, so, p, coefficient of x, Q, coefficient of Y, numerical values. Then, raised to the power N. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, we replace X and Y, all the variables. No? All the variables replaced by 1, and then we evaluate the value. And yun na. Uh, yun na yung sum of the coefficients of all the terms. Uh, tingnan natin yan mamaya, ha? When we will show examples. Okay, now, how about if we have px plus k to the power n, where the second term here is purely constant. So, px plus k to the power n. Uh, so, same pa rin, we substitute 1 to the variable x. Wala ka namang ibang variable dyan, x man lang. Na? And then, evaluate. Pero, you subtract k to the power n. Uh, tapos, yung result dyan, yun na yung sum of the coefficients of all the terms. Okay. Ano pang pwede? Ma-encounter natin. So, possible we encounter also this question in the expansion of the binomial. What is the sum of the exponents of the variables of all the terms? Uh, so, kung ito, so meaning, what is the sum for plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 6 plus 8? Uh, di ba? Ah, so, paano na naman natin yan sagutin without expanding and exposing all the terms? Uh, may way tayo dyan or may formula tayo. Ito ha, tingnan natin. Ah, so, the sum of the exponents of all the terms in the expansion of u to the power a plus v to the power b to the power n. 
is obtained by using this formula. Okay, ito yung formula natin. So, ano ba yung N? Exponent in the expansion. Ano ba yung A? That is the degree or the exponent of X or exponent of the variable in the first term. And B is the exponent of the variable in the second term. And by using this formula, we can get the sum of the exponents of all the terms in the expansion. Okay. So, ano sa tingin nyo? Mamemorize nyo kaya? Ibalikan natin B. Our term yung una. Tapos, sum of the coefficients. Dali lang, no? Substitute 1 and then evaluate. Pag may constant K, no? Yung second term. Ito yung subtract. Sum of the exponents. Ah, we will use this formula. Okay, pakitake note, gagamitin natin yung formula sa examples natin. Sige, so I will have now the first example. Find the third term in the expansion of 2x plus 3y squared to the power 4. Okay, so kung tingnan natin, in this binomial, u is equal to 2x. V is equal to 3y squared and N is equal to 4. And since we are asked for the third term, then our R is 3. Kuha nyo? Okay. So, we will now use the formula. Anong formula yun? Be, tingnan natin na memorize na ba ninyo? Sige, sulat ko ha. So, the R term is equal to this. And then I can now substitute values. So, the third term is equal to 4C2, no? R minus 1. U to the power N minus R plus 1. V to the power R minus 1. And if you solve, you can press this in your calculator. Then, this is 2X to the power 2. Then, 3Y squared to the power 2, no? And then, if you simplify, you can get the answer. Ito na yun, ha? 4C2 is 6. Can you check in your calculator, ha? Then, 2X to the power 2, 3Y squared to the power 2. Then, combining and raising the coefficients to the power, we obtain the third term here. So, 216X squared Y to the 4th. Ito, na? 216X squared Y to the 4th. Okay. So, kung tingnan natin, natandaan nyo ba itong expansion na ito? Di ba ito yung ini-expand natin kanina sa ating example where we expose all the terms? Ah, so, tingnan natin na. So, di ba ito yun? And then, when we expand, we arrive these answers. So, ito yung mga terms natin. Saan ba yung third term natin dito? 1, 2, 3. Tingnan niya. Tama, no? Ah, so, meaning, even if we will not expand and expose all the terms of the binomial expansion, using the formula for the R term, we can get the required term. Ha? Ah, okay na. Marunong na kayong mag-apply sa formula, ha? Okay. Sige. Sige.